hey you guys welcome back to my channel so this is me journaling and reading this morning i'm reading ecclesiastic 9 wonderful words today blessing morning to be home with my children a roof over our head food to eat and just us being home and healthy and yeah i hope you enjoy this blog i just created i just did a intro so i'm gonna put it right after this clip welcome back to my channel hope you enjoy my intro and um today is a regular regular day we're not doing nothing we're staying home it's gonna be freezing cold we were supposed to go out but it's freezing cold to head to the bronx today it's a two-hour train ride to get to the bronx and it's way too cold today yesterday was cold today is colder it's supposedly a storm a snowstorm or just a snow so it's gonna snow tonight so i was like my mom was like don't take the kids out because we just all got better like literally like a few days ago like a week ago we just got better from being sick from thanksgiving and i just didn't want to rescue getting the kids sick because they're already going to be home for like probably two weeks this because of christmas vacation and new year the holidays so they're going to be home for two weeks so and they got talent shows to do the girls because nico's talent show was yesterday Guys, I'm still trying to see if I got any picture or video sent so I could put it on the clip, but I didn't. So that's so that's sad because I couldn't even go to the school because um you have to have an ID proving that you got your COVID shot, and I didn't get my COVID shot. But I look like crap because I'm home all day. I got up and I brushed my hair, but I didn't put no like any lick or any products in my hair, so it looked dehydrated. But I do not care. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm just here drinking hot cocoa. I got some tasks that I want to do today, but I'm not in a rush. And if I don't do it today, I could do it tomorrow. I mean, it's fine. But I'm chilling here with my daughter Emma. She's right here next to me. Emma, come here. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. So you see, we just chilling in the dark. In, our, in my room watching spongebob i'm about to change that we're gonna watch snow white i don't know if you ever heard of snow white with christian christian stewart love it love it we love it over here seen it multiple times my other kids are playing with clifford our dog in their room and nico's here nico say hi hi honey hi <laughs> baby <laughs> so um yeah that's all the i don't know what this blog will contain now. i hope you guys keep watching i'm trying to stay in a good mood today positive vibe all day today so yeah just keep watching this is vlogmas day 10 i'm so proud that i did the intro i mean i'm still learning about youtube i'm blogging on my iphone 9 what's it a plus i'm blogging on my iphone a plus and um hopefully the more i blog the more one day i'll start getting paid for this and i could um upgrade my quality and you know everything because honestly i'm a mother of four and not we're not rich over here but i'm trying i'm a stay at home mom i'm having a hot cocoa i don't know if i said that already but i'm about to watch a movie with my daughter emma and chillax for the rest of the day i don't know I don't know if I'm in the blog right here because it's not an interesting day today. We it's not doing much, and honestly, my son is begging me to give him my, give him this phone. This is the phone he used to watch YouTube, and this is the phone I used to blog. So it's always a situation, always a situation. I'm like, you gotta let me blog, you gotta let me blog. But I hit you up in a few. Okay, you guys so i'm gonna end the vlog right here this is a short vlog 
told y'all we're not doing too much today. Today we're just at home all day. It's too cold to go outside today. I'm watching the news. I was watching the game with my baby daddy. My hubby Debbie, he's over there. <laughs> I'm getting on his last nerve today. But look at the Christmas tree. Look how cute. Ew, it's off. And then we got some decoration on the table. I just got to put up the stockings. I'm going to do that Monday when the kids are at school because I want to get some stuff to go in the stockings. And I don't want them to be home to see that. And yeah, I'm just chilling. I had dinner right now. Oh, well, an hour ago, the place was sitting there because I was on my phone texting and on TikTok and, you know, doing my daily contact online. People know I'm alive and I'm here. Also, I took a freaking nap, so don't judge me. I took a nap. I'm going to get copyright with that fucking news. Just plain. So, yeah, you guys, I'll see you in the next vlog. This is Vlogmas Day 10. I'll see you in Vlogmas Day 11. Hopefully, it's more active and more contact. You know what? I'm gonna include some clips and I end the vlog like this. I'm gonna include some clips that I have been looking at and finding. Like, you know how um your Snapchat or your phone just be like, um, this will happen this year, last year, three years ago, four years ago. I don't know what the hell is that in my hair. I'm about to put on some clips because I was in the shelter before I moved in here, so I wanted to share my experience too and give some contact. You know, people might need it, might need it, or might could relate. You know, so let me. Put these clips after this and i'll see y'all in vlogmas day 11. so yeah peace nick look i want to leave the toys downstairs but nico refused to leave it oh. say, say hi daddy say hi daddy This is the ferry, the first shelter I was in. The last two shelters I was in was in Staten Island. So this is a little clip of us, uh, of me recording the people on the ferry and how tourists act when they're on a ferry. It's super cute. My, my son loves the ferry. Okay, Emma, look, Emma. Yay, Emily. Kimmy, Kimmy. Kim, look at mommy. Yay, Nico! Hey, you guys, this is a clip of the zoo in Spain. I used to go to the zoo constantly because I had free passes. And also, just to distract the kids from being in the shelter all day. And it was fun. I loved it. They loved it. It was fun. So this clip right here is the park behind this shelter in Staten Island that I was staying at. It had a private park for us. So I used to take them all the time to the park to play. And there was other kids there with other parents. And yeah, they loved it. Uh, there, um, Kim, Nico was only two years old. The twins probably three or four. And my Emma was five, going to six. Oh, he 
give you Casey. He don't want to go up the stairs. I don't know why he does it. He know how to do it. Huh? Look, let's see. He knows how to do it. Go, baby. Okay, I'm coming. You go. I'm coming. Go. You just want me to get it. You know how to do this. Mommy. Nico, stop it. Okay, give me a second. Me too. Alright, let me. One at a time. Mommy, help. Yeah, I'm going to help you. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. go, go. I got you. Go. Go, go. What's wrong? Scuba. Scuba, scuba. Go, give it to mommy. No, no, Kaki. That's cocky. He's trying to blow up the, the ash tree. They got it here for the woman that smokes. There's a white woman that smoke a lot here. Who else? I don't know. Oh, yeah. That, this, there's more than one girl that smokes. Go, Poppy. Go up. Go down the slide. Go, go. Emma, what's wrong? <laughs> okay, Bill. Kimberly got him. He's like, he laughed because he was running away from her. Look. Is she going to do the cute slide together? Like all three of them go slide down. He don't want to. He's running away from her. Nico, not that way. <laughs> he said he drank it flat. Where? I don't see it. I don't see it. Choo-choo train, choo-choo train. No papa, no papa. Go down the slide, go. Go with sister down the slide, look. Oh. He can't do it, he can't do it, look. The teacher said it's time for him to be around some boys. <laughs> His teacher in the um, in the new school. Chicka chicka choo choo. And he wants a straw. No straw, baby. This is garbage. Okay, you can play with the straw stick, paper, wrapper, whatever. So the, and so in this clip, we took the ferry and then we took this ferry to go to my brother's house to visit. Um, so we used to we used to when we was in the stand and shelter. Me and the kids took a lot of boats, and they were enjoying all of it. It was fun for them, and it was like they went out and did uh, a lot of stuff because they'd be exhausted right after.
Say daddy. Daddy. Absisi. You sit down. Spiral. Say love you. Nico say love you. Love you. Good boy. Kimi. Kimi. Emily. 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 So, this is the shelter in Staten Island. This is the door. I used to put a bag on the door for garbage because I was scared of mouse and roaches in the room. So, um, those slippers on the floor are for bath time because we have to share the bathroom. And then I connected all four beds together. One, two, three, four, five beds together. No, four beds together. So I can make a big, big bed so we can all sleep together. And Emily, you saw Emily got a bruise on her head. Those are metal beds, so she plays a lot and she bangs herself on the metal bed. As you can see, the bed were really uncomfortable. They moved a lot and the bottom was just wood, like a wood thing. Uh, Y'all can see. These are the dresses that we got. I decorated the room a little bit to make it homey for the girls. And yeah, there was these dress this dress was towel, the other dresser was products that we use and they had their Easter basket on the other dresser and then this dress was just products and stuff we use and vitamins and the shower caddy. We had to have a shower caddy because like I said, we share the bathroom. And those are my cleaning product right there. The mop, the broom. Um we share bathroom, kitchen and dining area and then over here i have the bible for the kids my bible pampers for nico and then it was emma's birthday that passed recently we had this decoration the tent her happy birthday sign i kept everything like i said i decorated to make it homey and then we had these two nice stands that i used for other products and juice for the night because we didn't have a kitchen in our room we had to go downstairs if we wanted to get something to drink and i refused to do that every night so we had a mini tv and we had, I hang every um, decoration they got from church. They did in church. And then over here in the window, that's a window. We had three windows in our room, but I didn't open none of them, only this one. I put like a, like a fence so we could get some air. Yeah, and I had like bubbles, stuff that they use in the park. As you saw in the clips ahead, we used to go to the park and play. So I used to buy bubbles for them. And over here they have the crib, which is Nico crib, and his potty right there with the book bag. Else, um, Jojo see what book bag on top. And then there's Nico's crib, his stroller. We had two big closet, and um, I decorated again with church activity that we did from church. So I just bring it home, decorated to make it homey for the kids mostly. And there goes Emily. She likes being in the camera. To this day, she still likes being in the camera, and she likes attention another closet another decoration each each closet door had one kid and to call is for the people to call me downstairs when they needed me and the phone as well so yeah this is the overview of the room and um, i made it as homey as possible for me and the kids to feel at home and not to feel uncomfortable and sad and depressed in the shelter as you know when you're in the shelter you mostly be down and sad because it's not your forever home it's the shelter so yeah so i hope you enjoy this little clip of my throwback this is like three years ago four years ago I'm, if i'm not sure and there goes my ema like you know beautiful she wanted to show the room too and there goes nico so we used to spend most of our day in this room all five in this room and sleep like that in those uncomfortable bed those bed were so uncomfortable guys very uncomfortable Oh, and that medicine cabinet over the bed. None of the kids touched it. It was just medicine cabinet that I didn't let them touch. As you can see, I put pictures up of them, too, when they were little on the wall. All the way in the back wall, the green wall. And I'm leaving the room so I can show you yeah, the entering door, the hallway. There was other rooms. There were other girls living in all the other rooms. The bathroom. I don't um. This is another side of the hallway. Um, they had cameras, so they saw, probably saw me recording. 
and then this is one of the bathrooms. There's four bathrooms in total on the floor. Um, we have to share these bathrooms. So I used to go early in the morning when they finished cleaning it, put my kids' sandals on because we didn't go barefooted. We just, I bought them house um, shower slippers. This is another bathroom. Those are the two main bathrooms that I used to use. This one was my favorite, honestly, because it's mostly the most clean one. Um, yep. Looks a little dirty now because it was probably the afternoon where everybody already been used the bathroom and stuff like that. And those are the slippers that we use to take that shower. Because we was not walking in there barefooted to take no shower at all. It's a negative. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Like I said, put garbage bag on the door to, you know, have a garbage bag. And not put lace it on the floor. Those are the phone and the intercom to get in touch with my social worker or any person that was downstairs that needed to talk to me, needed me to come down. Was there, like, like I said, I decorated my kids' wall with their work from church just to bring a little bit of my God around us, near us, and also to have colors in the room so the kids make, so I can make it homey for the kids and for myself as well. I really enjoy decorating the wall with pictures of their artwork and all that good stuff. So yeah, um, just giving you closer and a smaller overview, I guess, again. This is the stroller that Nico, that we lived by with Nico. Well, I put my jacket in my thing because it was easy for me to grab and go. My kids' clothes were in the closet. This is Nico bed with all his toys on it. I used to decorate it because he never slept there. So the bed always looked like this because he never slept on it. I was the one that just put his toys there. The window, my Bluetooth potty, a bath, their tablets, my phone, the little castle, Emma's birthday stuff, her crown and stuff, and bookmarks. And then, um, yeah, and then under there, I just had accessories that I used daily, or I didn't use daily, I just had it there, so I, I wanted a place for it, and I placed it there. The little TV. And the little artwork from church. What else? Emma's tan. A pretty little tan. I got her that for her birthday. And she loved it. They played in there and there. If I looked in there right now, y'all will see the big mess that they have in there. Because they used to go in there and destroy that. Because they knew they couldn't destroy the room. More artwork of them are on the wall, as you can see. I always make sure I put all the artwork. And then... Nico Pampers wipe, blow dryer, oil, peppermint oil, oil for the scalp, lotion, uh, yeah, body wash, hair stuff, batteries, I think, my Bible stuff, highlighter, the kids' Bible that I used to read to them every night, Nico's two little car, um, yeah, and then more, me those are medicine, can't remember right now who medicine is that, but that's what I used to clean, the broom, the mop. This is the caddy that I was telling you about that I carry to the bathroom with me to to shower. To all our toothbrush, shampoo, conditioner, and our soap. Carry that caddy to the bathroom and we would take a shower. And everybody would wrap themselves around with the towel to get out. And hair product as usual. Yep. Fuck me, Jesus Christ. And um, our toothbrush. Medicine, my medicine, the kids' medicine, my hair rag, towels, bottles that we use daily. I used to refill that watermelon bottle with iced tea for Nico for the nighttime to take it upstairs because you know we share kitchen and I did not want to walk all the way downstairs to the kitchen when he was thirsty. Then I got that five below that poster for the girls. Like I said, I put stuff on the wall to give it life. Um, and then those three baskets. This is the Staten Island. Shelter. This is the Staten Island shelter. Just keep saying that because I don't want you guys to confuse it. Because I'm gonna put another clip of the one day they transfers us to. After six months we was in here, they transfer us to a family shelter, which was the shelter they left me in for a year or more than a year to, um, to find my place. And these are the bed. Emily's the last one. Then Kimberly. No, then Emma. And then Kimberly, the one with the troll. And then that was my bed. Emma was Jasmine. Emily was the last one over there. I can't remember what Barbie. She, she had a Barbie or a dolly or mermaid. This is my bed. 
where Nico used to sleep. And I put that picture for myself, for my sake, my heart, because it wasn't fun living in the shelter. It was kind of lonely most time. But I made it work for my kids. Just They were young, and I definitely had to make sure they were okay. This is the overview. It's a big room. They have place to run, play, and... You know, we wasn't in the room 24-7, but some days we were in the room 24-7. But this is my room, my shelter in Staten Island in 2018. Yeah, this is 2018. Well, you have the best part is this wall. We're going to keep adding until we move. Nico needs some more stuff. Emma did the little picture right there you see on the bed. Tell these hubbies <laughs> for Nico. And she gave him that cookie sticker. This is the elevator from the Staten Island shelter that I didn't show you. But this is the sh little elevator they have for the mothers. Because this is a DV shelter only for women with kids and... um yeah that's about it this is all i gotta show you from the Staten island shelter i hope you enjoy these clips from i think it's 2018 yeah i think definitely think it's 2018. so this is the little kitchen i have from here they gave me a mop in a broom but i'm gonna have to find my way and find a pickup because i'm picking up the garbage with like two container and nico's crying because he wants cereal and he's tired but this is the little refrigerator, it's cute and little, but at least I got one, finally. Lord have mercy. <laughs> and then I have wind, these big windows, and then bumpets. They didn't give me sheets for the best, I'm going to have to buy. That AC is good, turn it off and turn it on when I want to. This is going to be my bed, girls. Are, they gave Nico a crib. In the other house, they didn't give me a crib. And then this is another bump. They gave me one dresser and this big closet. I'm not putting, I'm not taking out clothes and folding in under dresser. I'm gonna keep them in a bag. And I'm still keeping my kids' shoes in there. Um, this is the closet and how big it is. Our clothes are still in bag. Because I want to put like a roach, roach spray or a roach medicine that my mom do. Because I noticed that everybody, we have garbage. We have a garbage area where we everybody walks and put the garbage in the same hallway from the same floor. And we have a laundry room in every floor. But mine is out of service. I went to see. I made this, this little toy area for the kids and they could ride their bike in this hallway. This hallway is long. No wrong line. This is where I enter. There's a lot of people that live here. A lot. It's a big building. See how big it is? Last thing is that. But because I don't want to unpack all the way, I want to get the roach thing my mom makes to get rid of roaches. This is the bathroom. Oh, they got me. I cleaned it again because when I came, that stain right there and that one was a little darker. But it's, I, I got, I, I cleaned it. I got bathroom stuff. And there it goes. That's our toilet. And that's it. But they, I seen dead roaches in here. Not big ones. Little ones. And I saw some alive that I had to kill. And I saw some in the dresser. And in the kitchen cabinets. I don't like it, but hey, it's a lot of people here. We all throwing away garbage in the same floor. Every floor has their own little garbage room. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get roach spray or roach powder and I'm gonna sanitize. 